Hey guys, I'm just checking in. Um, hope y'all having a good uh, Tuesday. I think today is Tuesday. I'm gonna be going to another food pantry today. I just wanted to share with y'all. Um, these Chick Fil A's they starting to get worse and worse. I was um at a Chick Fil A yesterday night. Um, cause I needed a cup of ice because it just been extremely hot outside. And to keep me hydrated and cool, I like to get cups of ice um, from Chick-fil-A. Um, they're one of the ones that, you know, offer it to you for free or whatever. Um, and I'm a loyal customer. I actually get like a lot of free products with Chick-fil-A because I have like a mobile app. And I shop with them pretty frequently um, to the point where I get like a lot of rewards and I'm up at like a certain member level ship. Y'all know about that. Y'all that actually um, consume Chick-fil-A. But um, I'm coming to y'all today um, to talk to y'all about an incident that happened yesterday night. Um, I just noticed before I jump into it because I don't want to be long with it. I know how y'all are. But I just noticed that these um, Chick-fil-A's, they are losing um, their quality of, you know, customer service. What they're known to be good at. And their reputation is being um, attacked and damaged, or um, I, I, it's, I'm for the lack of words, is being jeopardized. Um, and I noticed that the quality is going down, even when you go inside of some of the Chick fil A's locations. Uh, their bathrooms are starting to be real bad and the inside of the restaurant like the tables and stuff and the quality of the food all of it is going down and it seems like after the pandemic and we're still going through a pandemic they're just being on a hush about things but my thing is Chick-fil-A just has went downhill and that was like the best um like uh fast food restaurant and now like that was like the best like high-end fast food restaurant but that's slowly losing its value this particular location last night i looked at their reviews and they having the same other people are having the same issue and complaining about the same issue i went to corporate and complaint also called um the manager there as well told him the situation he told me he was gonna um uh suspend suspend the person or whatever but you don't believe that they be telling you and then I also did a complaint online and submitted that so I did like several complaints okay so I'm going through the drive through um, around I say sometime around nine something at night goes through the drive through and they you know she tells me um you know can I take your order I go on with my order or whatever because I didn't want much. So I just asked for a large waffle fry and I told her my name. That's when it got um, awkward when I told her my name and told her I wanted two large cups of ice and a large waffle fry. And when I told her my name, she was like, she repeated my name back, but she did it in sarcasm, like mocking way. I can't make this shit up. So I repeated my name back. So it was clarification and confirming. She gets sarcastic and was like, I can't hear you. I can't really hear you. I can't hear you. And she said it like eight to ten times. I can't make this shit up. About the about the eighth or ninth time of me getting um raising my voice so she could hear me, she then gets a um sarcastic mouth and tells me, um, I can't hear you because you're yelling at me. You're screaming at me. Um, can you stop screaming at me and yelling at me because I can't hear you and I'm like this lady is like really slow as hell Like it's something wrong with this lady What else do you want me to do? Do you want me to talk loud? Or you just still won't never hear me or is something wrong with your with y'all chick-fil-a speaker through the drive-thru like the shit didn't make sense at all so at this point i'm frustrated i just drives off and go up to the window um or whatever and i hear another person coming on but at that point i had just got pissed the fuck off and drove off as i get up to the next window this um this black dude so-called black dude he was like you know how these young people are they um they don't know how to do customer service and so i was like yeah and so I asked him for the person name and he gave it to me, but he was real kind of like low and started giving me the spelling of her name, but he didn't do it loud enough. 
so I didn't really catch the name and he basically was looking at me like yeah like she does that a lot to like customers so I I finally got a glimpse of how she looks because the, when the window sliding door opened up he was taking my order because it couldn't be taken because of the issue that me and her had so as I was giving him my order or whatever she's looking at me man it was so it was like a nightmare she's looking at me and she's like like that and I was just like this lady is crazy you got some serious problems so when she did that to me I mirrored back the mimic back what she did to me as well and I was like like that I was like like that like what, what's up because I'm about that life now the old me I'm going to get to that because I got ahead of myself. So, as she keeps staring at me and keeps giving me that same look and just kept standing there, like, trying me. I'm like, I never seen nobody do this at a Chick-fil-A. So, that's why I'm doing this video. I want them to see this shit. It, to me, I wish it would go viral. And this location was, um, I'm not going to get a location right now due to, like, protection reasons. But um, she just kept staring at me the entire time I was talking to the other employee and giving him my order. And just kept um, giving me nasty looks and like mocking me and threatening me with looks. And I'm like, this is not um, acceptable. And she kept walking back and forth as they was um, preparing my stuff. And I almost said something because I didn't want her touching my stuff at all, which they made sure she didn't. As they're give as they're wrapping up everything, I know I'm being long winded, guys. Please bear with me. As they're wrapping it up, this bitch had the nerves. Um, as I was getting my stuff, she had the nerve. She thought I didn't hear her, and she said it loud enough. She called herself saying it up on her breath, but she was like, "I wish she'll just hurry up and get her um. I wish she'll get her fucking shit and go. I wish she'll just hurry up and get her fucking shit and go." get her fucking food and go i hope that this is her exact words I, I can't make this shit up she said this man she was like i wish she'll just hurry up and get her fucking food and go i wish she'll just get her fucking food and go was her exact words i was like so shocked and i couldn't react because i'm still my mind still registering and the old me when i got out the car and been like um bitch what the fuck you said but I was just like, that's the old me is died down. It's, it's not worth it because people have you going to jail for nothing. And I was like, that's the devil running through her, trying me in my spirit to see what I got left in me to make me get out of, out of pocket. She was like seriously out of pocket and then trying to make me come out of pocket. I was like, I, I'm sorry to be redundant. Like, I'm sorry to keep being repetitive with my words, but I was like... I never saw a um, Chick-fil-A employee do no shit like that. I was like, she tried me today, but she tried the wrong one. When she did that, I was like, what is her name? And then he gave it to me because they knew she was um she was taking the shit too far. She's like, I wish she'll get her fucking food and go. I was like, oh my God. And my mind was still registering because I was like, did she say what I think what I thought she just said? I called the manager so fast and told him I said her ass need to be fired. After I explained everything to y'all, what um did I explain to y'all? I repeated the same thing to the manager. And before I knew it, I slipped out and I was like, her ass need to be fired. And he got quiet and it was like, I said, if I'm not cursing and using profanity to her, she should use profanity to me. I did nothing wrong to her. All I did was went through the drive through. She kept repeatedly saying for the eighth to ten times that she could not hear me. What else do she want me to do? I um got my I um raised my voice a little higher so she could hear me because what else? of the solution should I do if she's saying she can't hear me okay I do all of that and then she still used profanity make it make sense he tells me oh um we're gonna suspend her um uh we're gonna suspend her for a couple of days I'm gonna have a talk with her I said that's not good enough and I will be going to corporate about it so today I caused corporate they write everything down, you know, give me the free, um, the free product, um, as usual. Chick-fil-A is real good about giving you whatever that, like, if you had a bad experience, they'll just give you the meal for free, whatever you order. So that was put into place. And then she told me that she would contact, 
Um, she gave me the name of the operator. I think he's like the owner of that franchise. I want to give out names, but I'm going to kind of keep that for a later date if it kind of goes to the next level. Okay, so she gathers the name and then she tells me that she's going to let him know the complaint. So now at this point, I'm playing a waiting game. Um, this is out of control. Like this, this is literally, literally like... I'm just doing this video because I, I just couldn't believe what I was having. Like, I'm telling you, these demons be running up through folks. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to rant about my um situation at Chick-fil-A. I couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. That's why I didn't react because I'm like, hold up, did Was she talking to me? Is, like, is she talking to me? Oh, hell no. Nah. Because, like, the old me went up and been like, bitch, don't make me get out of this car and pop the shit out your motherfucking ass because i'm about that life but i was like i'm not a, i'm not about that life no more i'm not trying to go to jail it's not worth it <sighs> it'll take your whole life upside down for some uh pettiness because somebody else want to be petty you could tell she was having a bad day and was taking it out on other people but um i no longer rep uh support uh i ain't gonna say i don't support them no more but i no longer um look at them as being high end no more like i used to anyways guys i'll be back with another um video later on guys guys i forgot to describe how she looked too she was like hispanic um i want to say she hispanic like a mexican or something like that she had like um mexican like hispanic features and she wear she was wearing glasses and she had like a a ponytail that was real loose and he kept saying her name. A lot of these companies, they can care less. But see, when they uh, money start getting affected and people go on a strike and they ain't buying, then they start straightening up their attitude. Okay, guys, I just got off the phone with um, uh, one of the, I'm thinking she's like the regional manager of this Chick-fil-A location. So they did, I'm going to give y'all an update. So I kind of got frustrated with her because she was basically asking me to repeat myself and I just kind of got overwhelmed because yet again, like I told y'all, I have basically repeated myself about five or six times on uh, with the manager, um, with the uh, care, uh, uh, it's called care, uh, Chick-fil-A care, um, the corporate 1-800 number and then I went online and then I also did a review so I've been repeating myself so um she basically wanted to know the actual profanity word that the girl the lady names used so I told her it was f the f word fucking get your hurry up and get your I wish she'll just hurry up and get her fucking food and go so when I clarified that with her she said she'll be rec recommended and um, we're going to have a talk with her and she'll definitely be rep reprimanded. Um, we're definitely doing something about it. So it seemed like they actually going to actually do something because they're literally following up. And that's one thing I do like about Chick-fil-A because that's like messing up their reputation. But she said that um, they're going to give me a full refund for the um, item. And they was like, this is not acceptable because this is like, you know, tarnishing our reputation. So she was like, that messed your whole day up and it was definitely unnecessary for you to go through. So she basically was like, was she wearing like a gray light jacket? And she said, yep, I know exactly who, you, who, you, who you're talking about. The same uh, reaction I got from the manager yesterday night and then the staff that was working there. You can tell that she has like a reputation of being rude to customers but today she fucked with the wrong person but anyways guys i just wanted to give y'all that update